Hi, my name is Jerry, and I am a twin troller boat owner. This is a video from Gerald. Gerald is from New Hampshire. Gerald, I was just in western New York last week, and it was really cold. So I feel sorry that you'll be putting your twin troller away soon, but the heat is starting to go away in central Florida and we're gearing up for our season to be fishing in our twin troller more. But let's move on. Gerald sent us a video about a couple of things he has done to his boat. One of the bigger ones is a setup for a bilge pump. In addition to his video, Gerald said, Hi Jerry, I quickly made this video to send. This one is of my bilge pump. Having a pump on your boat is a must when you're in larger bodies of water and when it gets rough and choppy or even if someone goes too close to you fast in sending a good sized wake your way while in choppy water. I said in the video that I got the black tubing from Walmart but failed to say it is only found on their online store. Also that I simply capped the ends of the tubing while I was making the bends with the sand inside with masking tape. Make one bend at a time, test each one for fit as you go. I also used a short piece of clear tubing, I warmed it up with a heat gun, to stretch it over the pump nozzle port as well as the black furniture grade PVC tubing. That tubing is naturally shiny black. You can order other colors, no need for painting here. If anyone has any questions about that or other twin troller things, they can email me at bx509 at aol.com and just put Twin Troller X10 in the heading. Thanks, Gerald. Okay, guys and gals, this is kind of a late in the season video of a sump pump, or I should say a bilge pump <laughs> that I made. This is a tubing here that I got from Walmart, and they class it as furniture grade PVC and I bent it with some heat from a heat gun I had sand inside of the tube and made a form that would be similar to the shape I needed and this is the bilge pump down here you've seen this kind before get that glare off of it there you go focused in you've seen those at Bass Pro and places like that and as you can see, I can lift this whole thing up and wipe underneath it as need be. And it's not going to fall or go anywhere. And this comes right up through that line right there, that wire, and up under the battery box. And I have it hooked in there and the fuse is inside the battery box. So this bilge pump works very nice, and you probably say, well, how do you turn it on and off? Sorry for the not focus. I rigged up a switch, and you'll see it right over here. As you can see right there. And made that from a switch from Walmart, in which they would normally put in like a, a charger or something like that. I gutted it. All I needed was the housing. You can make any kind of switch you want. Mine is a rocker on off. And these two guys I got from Walmart also. Power ports which are very nice to be able to charge things. It's basically this guy is one of these but single. I just wanted something that was going to match. So this is, works out very nice but this this guy as you can hear, that's where that. So yeah, if you put sand in your tubing, as you go to bend it, make a form out of some scrap wood or anything you need, and you warm it up, keep warming it, the sand inside your tube will keep the tube from flattening as you go to bend it. And uh, you might take a couple tries, but stuff is pretty cheap and 
It only took me one try, but I like it. Works very nice. Like I say, I can lift it up anytime I want to uh, be able to clean underneath, wipe with a rag like I did today on this 50-something uh, degree New Hampshire day. So, you guys have fun, and the sun is setting here on Lake Massabesic in New Hampshire. And to all, a good night from you to me, I should say from me to you, <laughs> and from the twin troller X10. If you like my video, feel free to subscribe. Just push that button in the corner. Or give me a thumbs up. Or share with your friends. And don't forget to leave some comments or questions on the bottom. Thanks for watching.